All right, ladies and gentle nerds, we're about to break into some ancient secrets here, uh, decrypt the heart of the pyramids, the hieroglyphics. Uh, we got some um, older than old wrenches. Um, uh, we've had the port and polish done, uh, polish the uh, the vibratory tumble, and then straight out of the ultrasonic cleaner with uh, some soap and water to get the uh, the gray sludge off, and and uh, yeah, so. As best I can tell, you might imagine, these three wrenches appear to be the same manufacturer. Well, what the heck manufacturer is it? You, you can't make out the letters and the words and you get... They got a letter here and a letter there and you, you put them together and what do you got? Bibbidi-bobbidi-boo. Um, so, how can we... I don't have a convenient x-ray analyzer here. Uh, how can we figure out what the heck these things used to say? Um, well, cheating, I got a... Yeah, don't uh, don't tell the girl they're uh, in, uh, running around on her with some wrenches, but uh, I can add up the letters, one guy to the next, and see I got an M, F, you know, uh, so they call me that sometimes, and a C, O, and some scribbledy goo, uh, so manufacturing company, how about that? Uh, I believe it. Um, and uh, I'd same here, kind of, I think this tool... Um, you know, I think this tool is a is a wrench, and the other tools behind the camera. So I'm gonna say something. Tool manufacturing company. And now, of course, you you can go on the gargler and 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 uh, find all every every company ever with the tool manufacturing company right in the name. Uh, wish you luck. I'll see you sometime in ten years from now. You'll still be trying to decide which one it is. Um, so polished half the letters right off this one. You know, I bet these would have been easier to read if I never did nothing. Um, and this is, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, something about the, the fjords, I think. Um, so, so I think the original or what's left of the original might be my best bet. Probably the rust would have had more lettering in it than this does. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to, we're going to decode it with the power of radiocarbon dating. Um, probably actually not a piece of graphite. I couldn't find any sort of uh, pencil lead or graphite or rubbing compound, you know. The worst part about having a basement full of elementary school kids is they use up all your school supplies, and so you had to go to the welding drawer to get the uh, the stuff for building cages. All right, so um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make a, a rubbin, and then, um, you know, after, after that, we'll... Uh, see what the art teacher says um yeah so you can see I got some raised lettering here so the idea is I'm gonna coat the raised spots the lowered spots everything actually you know that may do something for visibility at least but uh, I only want to take the the high spots off what we're gonna do here is we're we're peering through the discoloration you know, our, our brain can decode a lot of things, but it's getting all this misinformation. What is shadow and what is stamped and what is just dark colored or rust. Um, so we're going to try to help it filter some of that out, even though these letters aren't even complete. Um, the, uh, the literal back of the envelope here. Of course, you know, school children used up all the paper too. Um, so I guess, I guess the idea... Pray in this uh, welding pencil works like you would think it works. Yeah, yeah, exactly like you think it works. Not at all. So probably I don't want to smudge it too much like I just did. Probably just a little bit is good enough. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, buddy. Well, using the old noggin here, I got an E, maybe an R, maybe a W E R. Uh, uh, stock stick S O C K something something like that. Um, and absolutely, absolutely nothing. Uh, nothing tall. Man, don't use your wrenches as hammers. That's just uh, animal cruelty. You know, rusty beavers need a break. Hey, we got we got we got letters on both sides of this one. Jesus, what the? Then what's the story on these two? They knocked it right off. Okay, so 
You know, I would like to believe this is something lovely and vintage, like a Sheffield, England, -ba -da -da -da, the city of iron there, uh, you know, except for Birmingham and everyone else who ever made iron and lays claim to it. Um, and, and I, you know, this appears to me to say something different than that right there. I don't see tool manufacturing company. But I do see what looks like an IELD, which Sheffield, England, maybe, you know. The Brits invented the tools while us Americans were still clubbing each other with rocks, you know. But, uh, hey, they can't argue with our rock clubbing skills. We showed them, folks. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go gargle some, uh, some, some tubes. Um, and, uh, yeah, rubs right, rubs right off. Perfect. And, uh, maybe I'll find out, uh, somebody in Sheffield or thereabouts or something field with, a what it says, where, where, what could it be? Westlock, Westlake, West Sox, Web, Web, Webly. It almost says, it looks like a W-E-B here. Um, so, so yeah, that might, uh, this is some place to s start, certainly. Look up every wrench manufacturer that ever were and uh, see what happens. All right, well, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. You didn't learn nothing if you didn't try. And so, uh, yeah, don't do this with the what you call it. This would work better if it was flat or if I had something nice and turgid. Maybe I'll try that. I'll wrap this around my rod and rub it up and down, and that way it'll only pick up the letters. Um, so I'll go do that while you can't see it. Um, oh, hey, you know what? Eh, eh. I have to find the right size anyway, but but that's an idea. If you don't got something laying around, you can always find a shaft. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, let you know what happens.